Hello Colts, I'm Olivia Droz with your World News This Week. In Canada, a convoy of truckers are occupying the streets of Ottawa pro protesting vaccine and mask mandates. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has ordered a national emergency in an attempt to stop the protest. Updates on the Ukraine-Russia conflict have progressed. Ukraine has called for a meeting with Russia and other key European security groups to discuss escalating tensions on its border. The Prime Minister of Ukraine said Russia had ignored multiple formal requests to explain the buildup of Russian troops on Ukraine border. Russia has also announced its plans to host naval war games off of the coast of Ireland. This has taken place without a formal request and has angered, most interestingly, the coastal fishermen. These individuals plan to continue their scheduled fishing operations even if it interrupts Russian military practice. In the world of sports, the African soccer tournament AFCON saw Senegal defeat Egypt during a penalty shootout. This is the first time Senegal, led by Liverpool star Sadio Mane, has won the tournament. Hi, it's Wyatt Rhodes, here with your U.S. News. In U.S. News this week, researchers revealed that the mega drought is at its worst now than it has been in the last 1,200 years. The mega drought, or a prolonged drought lasting two decades or longer, has gripped the southwestern United States for the past 22 years. It is at its worst since 800 AD. Researchers point the cause of the drought to human-caused climate change. As temperatures continue to increase, the atmosphere is sucking up moisture. Sandy Hook families have reached a $73 million settlement with the gun manufacturer, Remington. The families affected by the 2012 Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting have now reached the settlement more than seven years after their filing of a wrongful death lawsuit against the company. Hi, my name is India Vroman here with your local news. Over the years, it has become more clear to citizens and the police departments themselves that not enough information is given to the officers responding to emergency calls. Many incidents have stemmed from this problem, and the Carlisle Police Department is becoming one of the first to take action. The Handle with Care Registry is a system made to give police officers even more important information. Quote, when somebody calls us because they need help talking with an individual who has special needs, this information would give us the background we need to go into the situation, end quote. With this new system being put into place throughout the U.S., police departments are hoping for less accidental incidents that happen due to the lack of information given. Hi, I'm Marin Chambers with this week's sports update. The Cedar Cliff boys and girls basketball teams have seen immense success this season. After advancing to the mid Penn Conference playoffs, both teams defeated a strong Central Dolphin. Due to the date of filming this episode, we are yet to know the outcome of the next round of playoffs, but wish our teams the best of luck. Roll Colts!